What's going on guys? Welcome back to another top 10 winning product video. This time we're gonna be covering top 10 winning products from April of 2024. Like all of my other videos in this series, I handpick all of these products so I can get the best ones out to you guys as soon as possible, while also having the highest chance of success. Before we get into the video, if you want a custom built Shopify website by me and my team, completely for free, plus you get a full course with all of the resources that you need to get started. If this sounds like something that you want, again, it's completely for free. I'll have a link down below, or you can DM me builder on on Instagram and I'll build it through the DMs. It's super easy. All right, with that being said, let's get right into the video. All right, so how I find all of my winning products is using the software Manea. Manea is the best product research tool out there. They are a sponsor of this video, but I have been using them before they even started sponsoring my videos. Here's a quick overview of what you can find on their platform. You get top 10 winning products of the day by platform. That is one of my favorite features personally. So if you want to advertise something on Facebook, Pinterest, or TikTok, then you can just select that right here and they will update every single day with the top 10 new winners. If you find one that you like, you can get a ton of ad inspiration on the website here. All you have to do is click on see more and it's going to give you a ton of information about the product, the copy of the ad, how many views, how many likes, all of the engagement, the age range, all of the ads with the magic search that are running very similar ads from different websites. It looks like they're just copying this one because it's successful. You can even click on the see shop page and it'll take you directly to that website so you can use it for inspiration. So Benet is what we're going to be using today and I just wanted to point that out. So if you want to try it out for free, I'll have a link down below in the description. Description. All right, let's get right into the first winning product. So this is in a different language. I think it's German, but the product is a hair ball remover. I don't know what these are called. Like when your hair gets matted in your pets because they're rolling around or going outside or whatever, it gets all bundled up. You can't get it out. It's hard to cut out. So this is like one of those almost envelope openers, but the marketing angle is just only for pets. Some other angles that you could take with this product would be your pet's cleanliness so they don't get sick. Maybe they're contracting some fleas or whatever in these little fur balls. You could also take the angle of not hurting in your pet because it's just super easy little slicer process there and you're good to go. It's basically like an all around grooming kit for your animal. So if you look at their website right here, they're selling it for about $12 because it's in euros give or take whatever the conversion rate is for that. The website doesn't look too fantastic, pretty straightforward, honestly. Their whole angle right here is just going with matted hair to non-matted hair, like a before and after. And it kind of looks like they're selling a bunch of random products. So I don't really know if this is, this is like a kind of like a general website. So you could definitely make this a lot more branded. You could even private label this if you wanted to. You could also upsell other kind of pet grooming tools and then build little bundles and sell them together to get your average order value higher. And of course you can find the product on AliExpress for $2.05. Now this is just for an example. I don't recommend using AliExpress to source your products. I recommend Zendrop. I'll have a link down below for that as well. But this is just to show you the price of these products and how cheap that they actually are and how much you can mark them up for. All right, moving on to the next product. You're ready to get trained for the big fight. Maybe we're gonna watch Jake Paul and Mike Tyson fight it out if that ever actually happens. You need to get prepared. So this is a favorite, this guy's favorite boxing tool. It's basically like a speed bag trainer that kind of just flies back at you or whatever. I'm not a boxer. So I don't know. This looks helpful though. Little dodges of this tennis ball here. But it's a cool product because a lot of people have been getting into MMA and boxing lately, just with the rise of the celebrity boxing and influencer boxing scene. So I thought this was a cool product. It's got 2.8 thousand likes on it. It's called the Black Mamba Reflex Punching Bag Pre-Order. So I don't know if they sold out or they're just like doing like a little Kickstarter thing, but it's a pretty straightforward ad. I mean, it's pretty easy to make content with this. All you have to do is just fight this little tennis ball, right? So. Going onto their website, they're selling it for $162 for this training bag. It's not even a bag, it's a tennis ball on top of a string. I feel like I could make this at home, but apparently people like this product. This is a bit better of a looking website. Eh, well, I take that back actually. It's a little, uh, it's a little boring. I don't really know what they've got going on here. Just a bunch of different punching bags, I guess, like fighting stuff, like wall hanging bags or whatever. So this could be good for like someone's home gym or if they just want to upgrade their boxing equipment. But again, they're selling this for $162 and you can find this on AliExpress. I know it's not the exact same one. I couldn't find one with like a little tennis ball on it, but this does the exact same thing, right? And this one comes with gloves for $15.80. So you can definitely get this product pretty cheap. This one does have pretty high shipping on it. So you might have to negotiate with the supplier on this one or try to get it warehoused in the US through like Zendrop. But nonetheless, you can mark it up quite a bit. Let's just say you're all in for like $40 after shipping, which I think you could personally get this down to. You can sell this product for $99 and beat the other company's price by about $62. So you're gonna capture some of that market, run some good ads to it, upsell some products, and you are good to go. Let's move on to the next product. This one is also 
also in the sports area, I suppose. It's shin guards that you like slide into um, like these little like socks kind of thing. And it just makes the shin guard process a lot easier, I guess. It's good for kids. Uh, and it's also just kind of a new way to protect your shins if you are playing soccer or football in uh, other countries, if you want to call it that. So I, I just thought it was a cool product. Um, sports is always just like a evergreen niche, which is always great to sell in if you can market the product well. So they're selling their shin pad sleeves here for $33 for the set. Their sale ends in eight hours. So if you guys want these, you better go hurry up and get these because their sale is about to end. These sales timers are pretty crazy and they just never work. But the website overall is just okay. Their colorway is a little bit jarring, but I really like their like social media presence. Um, I think that gives a lot of social proof and you also get some free socks at checkout. But the point here is they're selling this for $33. And of course you can find this on AliExpress for $1 and two cents. Yeah, I know it's not privately labeled, but you can just get these privately labeled and, and have your logo or your company name printed on these for like 50, 60 cents, maybe a dollar maximum. So then you're in for like $2 for the product costs, maybe like $5 for shipping, give or take. So you're getting the product for like $7 out the door. And then you're gonna turn around and sell this product for $33. So it's a pretty good markup. Honestly, I'm not a soccer player, so I don't really know what soccer players need to upsell with this product, but it's a good product to advertise and some good marketing angles will be like travel safe, I guess. Like if you're on like a travel soccer team, I don't really know what normal shin guards look like, but I feel like these are just more portable. But the next product on the list is the Nuzzy. So all of these weighted blankets and like coats and stuff have these names like Nuzzy, Fuzzy, the Udi, like all these, a lot of E's, a lot of IE's in this industry here, but it's a weighted blanket. This one, you could say the angles that you could go with this are like keeping you warm, obviously. It's really comfortable. Weighted blankets help with your sleeping. Uh, it makes you feel held, I guess. So you can maybe target single people. Also stuff with anxiety, but you do have to be really careful about that on Facebook and Instagram if you want to say like anxiety or helps with it. They don't really allow that kind of stuff. So be careful there. But these products just always crush. I mean, even look at the Udi, for example, Dave Forgardi's brand, like he ran that up so high and people would just argue maybe in the beginning of starting his business, they were probably like, it's the exact same thing as a Snuggie, but it's not. He added a little twist to it himself. He marketed it well and built a brand around it. And now it's a massive company. So this is their website. I like their website website style a lot. I don't think it has enough stuff on it per se. I don't know. I think it's just like, I like the, like everything looks very, very clean on this website, but I just don't think it's in the right order. It seems kind of weird. It just doesn't flow correctly in my eyes, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, they're selling this product. If it's eight pounds, they're selling it for $150. If it's a 22 pound blanket, which seems crazy heavy, but that's $279. So they're very, very expensive blankets, probably good quality knitted in this like woven little thing here. Um, but overall, I like the website. Um, it just needs to be like reorganized a little bit in my opinion. And of course, you can find this product on AliExpress for $9.11 with $2.91 shipping. I don't even know how it's this cheap, to be honest with you. Maybe it's the weight of it, maybe it's the size, but even so, like this is a lot cheaper and all these products right here are like $23, all the bigger ones. They're, they're pretty cheap, right? So if they're marking it up to, let's say it's eight pounds, $150 and you're getting yours for 25, that's a very big markup. You really only have to sell it for like 75, maximum $100. And then you'd be extremely profitable. I don't really know about the upsells here. Maybe you could get into like the beanbag space or other cozy things, but it's a cool product. I think it solves a lot of problems. You just have to list out those problems, be careful with advertising them on Facebook, but people like this stuff. So great product to sell. And we're moving on to the next product. This one is in the cozy niche, but it is for pets. People in the United States and other countries are starting to just really pamper their pets. So a good product like this uh, would do very well. It has 20,000 thumbs up on Facebook, 514 comments, 501 shares or wherever that little icon is. And there's a ton of other ad creatives here that seem to be doing well in the dog niche. I guess people just like watching dog videos, but all it is is like this cozy little accent bed or whatever. It's $129, that's my point. They're selling it for a crazy amount. Website looks pretty sick. Uh, honestly, I like the colorway. I like the way they set this up. It looks really good. This is cool as well right here. It's kind of like a mattress, but like this is crazy. I mean, it's like selling a mattress to your dog. But the point is it's $129. How big is the 100? Okay, 199 for the giant one. So pretty crazy. I couldn't find the exact product on AliExpress to sell, but there's a ton of dog beds on AliExpress that you can find. This one's like a little sofa. I think some of the cuter ones could actually be cool. Like it's a mini sofa for your cat or whatever. People just like personification of animals, I guess is the best way to put that. So it's like you get them like a little blanket, you get them like a little sofa and you're like, oh, it's so cute. Anyway, there's $7.31 for this one, $17 shipping, but there's a ton again on AliExpress that you can actually choose from. And honestly, I think the more unique the design and the cuteness factor of it, I think the better chance that you have 
have for people to buy this product and think that, oh, this would be so cool if my little, you know, spot, I guess, <laughs> spot would uh, love this uh, little bed here or whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna move on to the next product. I don't know what I'm saying. All right, this one is the Scalp Hero. So it helps with hair loss and it's also like a scalp massager. And there's some like science behind this. I've seen this before. So it just like opens up the follicles, makes your hair grow stronger, healthier, but it's got 8.4 thousand likes on Facebook. A lot of engagement starting to increase here and really pick up with the likes, especially. And going on to their website, it's pretty cool. It's really wordy but it's cool. I think it needs to be a little bit informative and this wordy because it really has to explain to you how it works and why it's good for your hair. And I guess just like how it promotes hair growth and the battery life and all that stuff, right? But they're selling it for $90. So pretty expensive and it's 50% off right now. And you can try it risk free for 30 days. Um, so their kind of angles here are reducing hair loss, grow healthier and fuller looking hair, stress relieving, reduce headaches and migraines. Don't really know about that one, but we can find it on AliExpress or a version of it. It's an electronic head silicone massager here, three different colors, obviously not as branded, you could private label this if you want to for a couple more bucks, change the colors, add your logo on there or your label. And this product is $14.03 all the way up to $14.16. So they're really marking up this product quite a bit here, to be honest with you. They're marking it up all the way up to 90 bucks. So there's a good amount of margin to play with there. And there's a lot of other things that you could upsell with this product and in this niche. If you see here, they're doing like today only free shampoo brush with every purchase. So you could add in little things like that. You could upsell them if you want. It's really up to you. But we're gonna move on to the next product. This is a button creator and fixer is what it is. It's a claw bucket tool. I don't even know how it works to be honest with you. You create buttons. That's the moral of the story. So it's kind of a cool tool if you, you know, don't want to buy new clothes and you want to create new clothes or different ways that things clasp. Like it's a good product for like grandmothers fixing clothes and like doing little projects. Obviously this product is going to be really cheap. They're selling theirs for only $7.99 with a 50 set and then it goes up to like $12 with the 150 set. Website looks kind of sketch to be honest with you. It's like they have like a mix of different themes, 24 hour service for the button thing. I'm not too sure about that. Not the best looking website to be honest with you, but you find the product on AliExpress for a dollar and 43 cents with 50 pieces. So they're upselling it about five times or so, which this is very, very low ticket. If you're only making $5 on average per sale, then you really need a low cost per purchase or a really good upsell to complement this product. Because if you can get a 30 to 40% upsell conversion rate, then you're actually gonna make a lot more money on the back end per Per order rather than just trying to collect five dollars max profit if you're running organic ads and paid it's going to eat it up and you're going to make like two dollars per product sold so for this low of a ticket which i like to sell on myself you really do have to have really nice upsells that complement it and try to get your average order value to about 15 to 20 dollars all right moving on to the next product this is the frownies it's basically just like a wrinkle patch that you sleep with on your face and it just goes like right on your forehead and apparently it just like yeah, pretty wrinkle free, I guess, right there. So you sleep with this on your face every night or every so often, and it helps reduce your forehead wrinkles, probably just keeps them moisturized. But it's a really big problem because people don't like aging. So it's great to be in this beauty uh, niche kind of thing here. It has 10,000 likes on it. We got a bunch of different ads running for this. So a lot of people like this product and let's actually check out their website here. Good looking website. They're obviously targeting, I don't wanna say obviously target, I'm gonna say like middle age. I'm guessing, I don't know, 30 to 45 is my guess. I wanna be careful there. But uh, yeah, look, it's a pretty good looking website um, overall. And they, this is kind of a cool like way they're setting this up. So there's like three different options that you can have here with different types of things that they're selling. Um, but they're all selling for $24.95. So they're selling this like little packs basically of like skincare kits. It's a good looking website. I like this one a lot. Uh, one of my business partners is doing a brand kind of similar to this and it's doing very, very well. Um, so it's a really good niche to get into, but you can find patches like this. This is like a full face. Well, you pick like how much you want or I guess what kind uh, that you want. But but they're only a dollar and 18 cents, right? So if you get the full mask or the, full, these are crazy. Imagine just sleeping with that on. You'd look like you're in some horror movie when you wake up. That would just be terrifying to see at night. But they're a dollar and 38 cents. So they're very, very cheap. You can put packs together yourself. You can go reach out to the supplier or someone on Zendrop and say, hey, I want all of these in a, a like a bundle together. A bundle of five, can I do that and then sell those? Which would be a cool idea to do because then you can mark it up like they're doing in their packs to like 25 bucks. So pretty cool product overall. Um, let's move on to the next one. This is the Buta. It's like 
wall edges um, for gardens and your backyard and all this stuff, right? So instead of having to like actually like lay down cinder blocks, you just connect them together and then you like, you know, trim it around your garden or whatever and then nail it in, spike it in. Um, kind of a cool concept though, because hiring someone to create that for you or do it yourself in your backyard with like actual cement and cinder blocks is, is pretty time consuming and tough. These look super real and you can just bend them and shape them to however you want in your backyard. Pretty cool concept, especially with the real estate market still being crazy and people wanting to upgrade their homes and their backyards. So let's take a look at their website. So it's fast, easy, beautiful, do it yourself edging. That's a crazy, that's a crazy, uh, you can't, and they're saying it attractive, long lasting, do it yourself edging. You can't, I'm not gonna make any jokes. Um, this is $25 for a set of four feet. So they're selling it for a good amount, 68 bucks with the, XL blocks section. This is pretty expensive. It's a good concept. So if you can prove that it's actually cheaper than doing it yourself, or if you can prove like the easiness factor of it is better to spend the money, then it's a pretty cool product. I mean, I think it's a great idea. You can't find the exact same block style, but you can find other ones on AliExpress for $5.57. And they're selling theirs again for uh, four feet sections for 25 bucks. Unless it's the XL one, then it's 68 bucks. They're selling these for five times more than they're probably getting them for. Pretty cool product. It opens up a lot of opportunities for different upsells. I haven't seen a product like this. I really thought this one was cool. And again, in this garden, backyard, home improvement type of space, it's not super tapped into. So I think you should hop on this one if you like this product, it's a good idea. Get creative with the creatives on it too. And then you should be good to go. All right, moving on to the next product. This is the Kitty Corner. This is a children's potty ladder trainer. That's what it is. I'm trying to think of how to say this. Um, and it just folds away or whatever, right? So it's great for children and children are an evergreen niche. People are still having kids. The population is growing and you need to potty train your kids. So good product overall, 18,000 likes on this one. And they're selling the product for $29.90. It's called the Step Throne. Kind of cool. It's a very like, basic Shopify dropshipping website, to be honest with you. I think you could really brand this one out. Honestly, kind of make it look like this style, but a little more kid friendly, if that makes sense. You could just like, it just needs to be like structured a little bit better basically, and have a little bit more custom content, better images, better quality gifts, and just like, it just needs to be cleaned up a bit but they're selling it for $29 is the point here. And you can get this product on AliExpress. It's pretty much the exact same one. I think it might be the exact same one for $9.47. So they're marking it up about three times here, which is a good range um, of margin for this price point of product. I think that there's not too much competition in this type of product. I think you could build a lot better of a website and a brand around it than these people. And they're already getting great engagement on their Facebook ads. So if you can do this better and you're confident in that with both your creatives and your website, I would definitely take a look at this product. All right, so moving on to the next product. These are the Ever Dries. This is in the period relief uh, niche, I guess. You know, you saw those like uh, Maya uh, cramp things, massagers or whatever for your belly that help relieve the pain. This one is to prevent leaks uh, uh, from periods. So you don't want to go through your pants or your shorts or whatever, right? So these are like basically the solution for it. And this product is definitely in demand and need because it is something that pretty much every female has to deal with on this planet. I don't even know what to say here, honestly, <laughs> but you get the point. This is not my forte, obviously. So they're selling them for $60. That's my point here. We're talking about the business side of it. So got all the sizes. We got a five pack, 10 pack, 15 pack, pretty straightforward forward here. Not going to go too much into detail because it's not my experience to talk about. $2.79. You can find them on AliExpress so you can get them for a lot cheaper and they're marketing it up a good amount. Again, the same thing with the last website that we looked at. If you can do this a lot better, you're confident in advertising this product, you could crush it way more than this company is already doing. All right, so that's the last product on the list for the top 10 winning products of April, 2024. I hope you guys enjoyed this video series. Make sure you're looking forward and subscribing to the next one coming out. I will be ramping up my YouTube video output back up to two a week. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Also, I need some ideas for videos. So leave a comment down below on what video you wanna see next. And if you wanna grab that free custom store, free course, free e-com resources, I'll have a link down below and you can also DM me builder on Instagram and I'll build the full store for you in the DMs with my automation software. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you next time.